Right guys, welcome to the 4th of June. As you can probably tell, I'm back in the barn. Rather kind of half a tidy out. As much as it gets in here. I've got some black checks as well, if nobody knows what they are. Probably. Um, <laughs> taking me back to being a kid. So, I'm doing a bit of work. Panels are on, lights are in. These are the new ones that I bought. Uh, I did have to do some adapting. Um, oh, hang on a minute, I'm going to put light on, you can see something. So, this was the, the hole I had a problem with. That's how far out it was. So I had to drill another hole and then basically file it into the right, into the right space. It doesn't look great, even rubber there don't fit in properly. Yeah, you can still see where the old panel used to be. But it's kind of on, not particularly impressed with it. And I don't know if you won't be able to see it very well. But there is actually the corner of where my finger is, that corner of that hole poking through. It's not picking up very well. The other side is a bit worse to be honest, it's the first one I did. Um But we do have a bit of a bigger problem. Oh, hang on, the camera's having a go. Hang on. So a bit of uh, oil on it. So yeah, I've got a bit of a bigger problem. Uh, I had that A frame on the other day. Just that those two frames on for moving bales around for the four banders that I had made. Uh, I was I went out ten o'clock the night we got it baled with the old girl um, with a linkage just around up the bales so it was easier for me in the morning with the Massey to pick them up. Um, moved about 10 bales and everything stopped with the linkage. Uh, I went in to try and pick a bale up, tried lifting it and nothing happened. So yeah, a bit of a problem I thought. So this morning there's a panel that fits down here in the front of this, which is that panel just there. Took that off, that's actually held on really nicely with two little locking caps there. I'll show you there. These are the same as the that's on the bonnet. Oops, they're the ones that are on the bonnet and on the front grille as well. So the same key undoes it all, which is brilliant. I thought I'd have to unbolt it. So that panel comes off and you're into the tank. Come down here a bit better. So this is the tank underneath. There's a belly pan under here that runs underneath it. And then you've obviously got the tank. So this is a fill port, really slow. Had to take the breather out as well just to get a bit of air in. Well, there's it. Put about 12 litres of oil in it and still nothing. Now generally if it's running out of oil, you'd feel it. Um, the hydraulic space can slow down and you start juddering. Um, and then you're kind of working out that you may be low on the hydraulic oil. Well, nothing like that happened. That did not happen, it just stopped. So we think that the pump's gone. Well, I think the pump's gone. I've had a word with a couple of people, and they reckon that's the most likely cause. So if we get under here. So the pump is located up here. Oh, can't see it very well. I'm trying to roll around up the floor and show you at the same time. So. That is the pump here. Uh, two pulleys on it, and there's a nut and bolt up there, the top bit, just see there where it lights. So I've undone the uh, in feed to it, undone that bolt at the top, which should mean this is loose, but well, it's actually quite firm still. But that should just push up, undo the belts on it, and that should pretty much slide out. And then it's a case of trying to find. A new pump. I was trying to find if I can repair this one, which I'll doubt. Right, let's crawl back out again. Oh, it's like Indiana Jones, is this? Ooh. So, yeah, we're having some fun. Um, so, we'll get that pump out. One of the, well, Unimog dealers uh, apparently has one in at 600 and some quid. I'm not buying it from them because 
I don't particularly like them. <laughs> There's no other way of saying it. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I might have to see if I can get an aftermarket one. I'll price up a Merc one, but I'm guessing that's going to be a grand's worth. Um, I am trying to keep everything on her original if I can. So Merc parts. But yeah, the saga continues with her. Joys of old machinery here. So, if you have one of them on your bonnet, you better have a good checkbook with you. <laughs> so yeah, I'll carry on with this. Um, hopefully I'll get it out, see what's happened. Maybe something silly, like uh, a keyway that slipped, or I don't know. We don't know yet. Right, I'm going to show up, carry on, and I'll let you know when I get on. Alright, cheers guys. Bye.